Meghan Markle wore Princess Diana's gold and diamond butterfly earrings and bracelet on the first day of her royal tour of Australia, just a day after Kensington Palace announced her pregnancy. On her first outing since the announcement of the royal baby, due in the spring, she wore a white dress designed by Australian Karen G. In a lovely nod to her husband's late mother, Meghan also donned the same earrings Diana wore during a 1986 visit to Canada. The Princess of Wales wore the earrings with a matching necklace and royal blue outfit whilst attending a series of events in the city of Prince George, British Columbia, with her husband, Prince Charles, over 30 years ago. The matching earrings did not go unnoticed. One Twitter user said, I love this. All the feels today. They made sure Diana was present for all of the baby announcements today. Another said, she is definitely a sentimental soul, Mama Megan. One very emotional respondent said, well why don't I just start sobbing right now then? Lovely gesture. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex kicked off their royal tour in Sydney today by visiting Admiralty House, the home of the Governor-General and his wife. The Governor, Sir Peter Cosgrove, and wife Lynn. Lady Cosgrove, gave the pair their first baby gift, a fluffy kangaroo with a baby joey and tiny boots. They were greeted at the grand home by representatives from the 18 countries competing in the Invictus Games, which is taking place in Sydney this year and coinciding with their visit. Launched by Prince Harry in 2014, the Invictus Games is a Paralympic-style event for military personnel wounded in action. The Duke and Duchess then moved on to Petakwala at the Taranga Zoo, before heading to the Sydney Opera House. At the iconic Opera House, the royal couple were entertained by a traditional indigenous dance show by the Bangra Dance Company. This marks the first day of a 16-day tour for Harry and Meghan, during which they will tour Australia, New Zealand, Tonga, and Fiji. After being congratulated on their royal baby news, Meghan said, Thank you so much. We are very excited. Duchess Meghan is set to be pregnant before the end of the year, if TV psychic Sally Morgan is to be believed, that is. And while it would be easy to go down the who could guess it. And what would she know? Route, there could actually be some merit to her predictions. In fact, Morgan has been accurate in making royal predictions before. Not only did she correctly call the genders of William and Catherine's three children before they were born, but she also predicted that Meghan wouldn't walk down the aisle with her mother, Doria, at her wedding. Indeed, Meghan ended up walking down the aisle with Prince Charles. Spooky. What's more, the psychic also predicted that Meghan and Harry would have twins, and whether that's true or not, we can't help but get excited about a double royal act. Sally, 66, made the bold prediction on British daytime TV show Loose Women, and the audience almost lost it. Gasps were audible as the psychic confidently said, they will have two girls and a boy, they will have three children. She went on to add, Harry will have more daughters than sons and in fact, this is a biggie, there may be twins there. It looks like Morgan has gained the trust of the royal family themselves in the past. The Daily Mail reported that Sally worked closely with Princess Diana for four and a half years as her psychic while she was married to Prince Charles. Harry and Meghan were married in May, but speculations about when the pair would become parents have been rife since their engagement last November. The newlyweds have been asked many times about starting a family, and Harry has been vocal about how he'd love this to happen. In their official engagement interview, the Ginger Prince said he hoped they would start a family in the near future. In July, Prince Harry jokingly revealed how many children he wants or doesn't want more specifically. Speaking to royal fans in Dublin, he remarked on one woman's explanation of having five children. He laughed and said five children? Too many, the woman told people. If Sally's prediction of three children turns out to be true, it looks like Harry won't be too stretched. Phew. Royal baby traditions are not widely known to the public, with many strange and age-old practices still existing. 
Despite being a modern royal, these traditions will have to be followed by Meghan Markle if and when she becomes pregnant. Old and often outdated traditions are part of being a member of the royal family, with royal baby traditions being no exception. They are something Meghan Markle will have to follow in, or if, she falls pregnant, being a high-ranking royal. Despite being the symbol of a more modern royal family, it is no doubt the Duchess will have to follow the same traditions as Kate Middleton, Princess Diana and the Queen herself. One thing that the royal family isn't allowed to do is announce the sex of their baby ahead of the birth. It is royal tradition to keep the gender private, with Prince William and Kate Middleton even deciding to keep the sex of George and Charlotte a secret from themselves. When it comes to the delivery room, royal births used to take place behind palace walls, but now happen at the Linda Wing of St. Mary's Hospital in London. During the birth, lots of midwives and doctors are around, with the whopping team of 18 involved in the birth of Princess Charlotte in 2015. One person that usually wasn't involved in the birth was the father, a tradition long upheld until recent years. Prince Philip was not present at the birth of any of his four children, but Prince Charles and Prince William bucked the trend by being in the delivery room for the birth of their kids. Royal births also used to require a witness, with the Home Secretary usually present for all royal births to verify the event. However, this was one tradition the Queen wanted to do away with, and it hasn't been enforced since 1948. After the birth, royal babies are wrapped in special blankets, a tradition that goes back more than 100 years. The fine woolen, kneaded blankets are produced in Nottingham by G. H. Hurt and Son, who made the blankets for the Cambridge children and William himself. One tradition that is still in place is that the Queen must be notified first, knowing all the details of the royal baby before any information goes public. Something the child of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry also won't have is a surname, taking on the surname of Sussex, just like William and Kate's children. They will, however, have three of four first names, a royal tradition that is still upheld. Most recent royal births include Meghan and Harry's nieces and nephews George Alexander Lois, Charlotte Elizabeth Diana and Louis Arthur Charles. With so many royal traditions to follow. There is one American pregnancy tradition that Meghan Markle will not be able to follow now she's the Duchess of Sussex having a baby shower. Baby showers are a way to celebrate the expected or delivered birth of a child, by showering the mother with gifts. However, baby showers are reported to be frowned upon and not celebrated in the royal family, as they could appear to be tasteless. Meghan Markle may have told Princess Anne the exciting news that she is pregnant at Princess Eugenie's wedding in this touching moment. The Duchess of Sussex and Princess Anne sat next to each other in St. George's Chapel and they appeared to be having a warm and friendly chat before the ceremony started. However, now that Meghan, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, have announced they are expecting their first child it seems there is more to this conversation than just small talk. In one moment, Princess Anne looks down at Meghan's stomach as her coat was unbuttoned. Then in another moment the Queen's daughter makes gestures with her hands. Meghan copies the hand gestures as the pair giggle. It is unclear what they were talking about but it was speculated that the conversation was more telling after today's baby announcement. Charlie Proctor, the editor-in-chief of Royal Central, tweeted the video and said, I didn't want to say anything at the time because I know how annoying the rumor mill is, but Meghan's conversation with Princess Anne suddenly makes a lot more sense now. And looking at her stomach, the hand movements etc. Hashtag Royal Baby. One Twitter user responded speculating the hand gestures were referencing how big Zara Tindall was when she was pregnant. They said, no wonder the Princess Royal looked at Meghan so warmly, and I wonder if it was Zara or Peter that was that big. Another user said it makes sense now that Princess Anne was looking at Meghan's stomach. They added, that's also why her coat was open. Royal fans had wildly speculated that the Duchess's outfit on Friday was a major hint she was pregnant. 
She looked stunning in a Givenchy dress, finished with a hat by Noel Stewart and Pippa small jewelry but also wore a loose-fitting and long navy coat. The covered-up look is in complete contrast from sleek dresses she has been pictured wearing at a number of events recently. Royal fans flocked to Twitter and speculated that Meghan might be expecting her first child with Harry. One tweeted, something about Meghan's outfit choice makes me think she's pregnant and hiding a baby bump. It's so conservative. Another wrote, I have a feeling Meghan is pregnant. She's glowing and her face looks fuller to me. Can't wait for them to announce it. One tweet read, Meghan Markle is definitely pregnant. My psychic intuition does not lie and that long coat is rather suspicious. Kensington Palace had remained tight-lipped on growing speculation that Meghan is pregnant until now. <laughs>